Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have a brand new arrival to show you. This is the 2021 and a half Forest River R-Pod model 190. This couples unit comes in at just over the 3,100 pound mark at 3,111 pounds as we see it here equipped today and is going to be approximately 21 feet in overall length hitch to bumper. We're going to do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today and we're going to show you some of the neat changes and awesome features in this compact lightweight couples unit. Let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the inside and we'll start with the living and kitchen area. All right guys, so we're on the inside of this brand new R-Pod 190. And as you can see back here, you have a U-shaped dinette. This is gonna be very, very similar to the R-Pod 189. The difference being that this has the U-dinette instead of the sofa. This will make into a fairly large bed. It's about queen size, so you can sleep two adults back here if you need to. And you can see the windows on both sides. Uh, normally, there would be a window back here. The supplier of that window basically can't meet the demand, so right now the R-Pod 189s and 190s are coming without this back window here. Um, as soon as they're able to get more of them, that will come back. But it really doesn't affect how much light comes in the trailer. As you can see down here, uh, you have the, this is your new wood color, as well as the new floor color and new fabric color. This decor is called Tupelo Honey. It is the only decor available, so keep that in mind. If we look over here, you're going to notice your breakers and fuses right there. You're also going to notice your propane leak detector on the left side of your screen there. And um, you're also going to have some netted storage, which we'll talk about a little bit. All these counters, including this counter over here, are all pressed membrane thermofoil style countertops, uh, which is really nice. That's a waterproof countertop. You're going to have a USB and household outlet. And then this has the optional 28 inch 12 volt TV. Um, that has the ability to dismount and mount in the bedroom or you can, you've got cable and power outside if you want to do that as well, which is really nice. And it's really a good viewing angle from the dinette, which I'm currently sitting at. You know, you can kind of see that uh, in the picture here that uh, you can see the TV fairly easily. If we look up top here, this is your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system that will control the interior and exterior speakers. Uh, and also, as you can see there, has HDMI and USB plugs, which is pretty nice. That way, if you want to add a DVD or CD player or something, you can. Next to that, you're gonna have your pre-wire for the solar charge controller should you get this with the optional solar package or if you want to do that after market that's where it would go and then right over here you're going to have your awning and slide out controls and some lighting controls which is really handy easy to get to you are also going to notice if we look right here you have a full viewing window in the entry door and if we look up top right here you can kind of see it but this is thin shade ready um, I kind of wish they would put a shade in there from the factory, but at least it's prepped for it. As you can hear, I have the air conditioner running today because this is kind of a warm one. Uh, this does have the 13,500 BTU Coleman Q series direct fire air conditioner. So what that means is it is not ducted. It's what I like to call a dump air conditioner. Um, it is not ceiling controls though it does have a thermostat and I'll show you where that is here in just a minute right here you're gonna have your tank monitoring panel 
You're also gonna have your water pump and water heater on gas controls. So that makes it easy to get to and easy to check your tank levels. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we will do that. So up here, one of the big changes that you notice, wow, that's cooling off really quick. It was 83 degrees in here whenever I first uh, came in here and turned this on, and now it's already down to 78. Um, but one of the big changes, as you can see there, is this front window does now open. It's a plexiglass or Lexan, uh, I believe is what the material is called, but it has more of that European style day night shade or screen, as you can see here. Um, but that will flip up and, and it opens now, which is really nice. And then you have windows on both sides of the 60 by 74 inch camper queen bed. You cannot upgrade this to a 60 by 80 true queen, so keep that in mind. You're also going to have the nice little shelf up top here. Just a, you know, that's a nice change. I really like that. And then, as you can see over here, you do have cable and power for the TV if you wanted to mount one back here or move the TV back here. Uh, the existing TV, I should say. Here's your thermostat for your heat and your air conditioner. And you're also going to notice down here you have a household plug. And then this is part of the bush kitchen. Um, which I'll talk about here in a little bit on the outside, but your furnace is back there underneath the bed, so just keep that in mind. You're also going to have a little netted storage space here. A uh... Apparently, I hit that. <laughs> oh, hush. Anyways, um, you're also going to have your central vacuum, so this is basically an electric dust pan. You can get the hoses for this if you want, uh, but it uh, does not come with the hoses. That's still funny that I hit the propane leak detector. You got a nice little mirror on that cabinet here. And as you can see right here, you are gonna have a hanging storage, or you could use this as a pantry or a combination of both. You're also going to have three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers as you can see there so I'll go ahead and open up all three of these which is a really nice feature especially right here because you could use this as more of a dresser or if you want to uh, use that as kitchen storage you can do that as well. A new feature for 2021 and a half is the Norcold five cubic foot fridge and freezer, as opposed to a three cubic foot freezer they were using or fridge freezer they that they were using last year. So as you can see, you've got the little freezer pocket down there or up at the top that I believe that is removable if you want to. Um, but this is a gas and electric fridge which is really nice. And then you've got your controls right there. Coming over here, you're gonna have a nice electrical outlet right there for a coffee maker. And this kitchen is on a slide out, which is nice. As you can see right there, you do have some storage, better than no storage. You're also gonna have a window, a large single bowl circular sink with the high rise faucet. And then right here, you are going to have your two burner cooktop with the glass cover. Down below, you have your convection oven microwave, uh, which is a very, very nice feature. And then next to that, you're also going to have a little bit of storage with your pet bowls underneath that. Last thing before we take a look at the bathroom is right here you do have a little bit of storage under this side of the dinette you don't have a door on the other side of the dinette because your uh, slide out mechanism area and there, basically there's things back there that they don't want you to get to all right moving forward 
we'll take a look at the bathroom. So as you can see right here, you have a nice medicine cabinet that does have a mirror on it, as you can see there. Pressed membrane thermal foil style countertops. You're gonna have an electrical outlet that is a GFI protected outlet, which is nice. A little bit of netted storage back in there. Uh, let me get down here so you can see it a little bit better. And then you have a big chunk of storage right there. Plenty of room around the toilet. That is a plastic toilet. I get it because it's such a small trailer. Um, if we look up top, you will notice that you do have the larger Max Air or Fantastic Fan, whatever you want to call it, um, which is a whole house mint fan, so you can really get some good airflow through here. You've got a skylight above the shower. You can be upwards of 6'2 or 6'3 and still shower in here. Nice size shower. This is one of the bigger bathrooms in an R pod. It was actually one of the first dry baths. And then everybody always asks me, what is this little thing? So this is the Aqua View shower miser. You might have seen a decal for it over on the wall over there. And the nice thing about this, if you're dry camping, what it does for you is when you're waiting for the water to warm up from your water heater while you're taking a shower, you turn this off and it'll recycle the cold water into your fresh tank. And then whenever it, it'll change color from blue, I believe to clear whenever it is up to temperature. And then you can turn it on and get a nice warm shower. Now you don't want to use that if you're in a park because you're already hooked up to city water and you, you know, you really don't have to focus on using, you know, saving your fresh water tank capacity. But overall, that's a pretty cool feature. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap it up for the interior of the 2021 and a half Forest River R-Pod model 190. Let's go ahead now and we will jump on to the outside and we'll take a look at some of the features there. We'll see you back on the outside right about meow. All right guys, so we're on the outside of this brand new 2021 and a half R-Pod model 190 by Forest River. So as you can see up front here, you have a nice one piece fiberglass uh, section from the diamond plate all the way over the top back to the uh, the rear area, or the rear bumper, I guess you should, or I should call it. You can see the new plexiglass front window that actually does open like we talked about earlier. You're also gonna have a power tongue jack up here, single 20 pound propane tank, spot for your battery. You're also gonna notice you have a handy propane quick connect for the outside bush kitchen, which is pretty nice. And if we look back over here, you'll notice a handy battery disconnect so you can kill all power to the coach. So this is a six and a half foot wide series. So it's a, what I call a narrow body. And you can kind of see that because of how far the stabilizer jacks stick out and how far the wheel well sticks out. Coming along over to this side, you have your six gallon gas and electric hot water heater or water heater. Haven't you noticed that everybody always calls it a hot water heater? Um, I don't know why we do that. Anyways, um, maybe that's just me. But uh, you've got your fresh water and city water connection right next to that, as well as the outlet for your furnace. Here is your slide out. And you can see up top here, this is prepped for the Solera slide awning topper. Um, I don't recommend that because they just get torn to shreds down here in Texas with the wind but some people want them and then right here you can see that you do have one of your dumps I believe this one is for the black tank and then the other one back here is for the gray tank good looking aluminum wheels these do have ride on West Lake Lions head tires these are gonna have a 5 plus 2 plus 1 tire warranty so five years against defects two years of roadside assistance and 12 months no questions asked for replacement guarantee on your tires which is pretty awesome if we look down here you're gonna have your cable and satellite inlet as well as your 30 amp service which is really nice and then you'll also notice that you have four corner stabilizer jacks not just two rear ones like some of the competition 
Coming back around over here, you have your spare tire carrier for the back, uh, which is nice. Um, they do make a bike rack specifically for this. Uh, you can only have the spare tire or the bike rack. You can't carry both of them. All LED tail and marker lights, which is really nice. And then right here, you're gonna have some storage, which it passes all the way through. And as you can see, this is a very big chunk of storage. And if we look over here, you can access this portion from the inside, which is really nice. These are all held up by magnetic catches. And these are all keyed alike, which is pretty cool. So you don't have a 751 key. You have the Bauer series key, which is really nice. You're gonna have two steps, as you can see right there, instead of the traditional one. And this gives you a better shot of how narrow this body is. You can see how the fender wheel and the wheel sticks all the way outside of the body. That's gonna help bring your center of gravity down, which is really nice. And then you can see this uh, black glass entry door. You're also gonna have your Thule powered box awning with LED lights, two outside speakers, and a porch light. Our pod does use the Asdell onboard composite sidewall panels instead of the conventional Luon. What that's gonna do for you is it's gonna protect you against any delamination. It is also gives you twice the insulation value uh, compared to wood. It has a sound damp dampening quality. It's mold and mildew resistant. Um, and it's also wider, which is one of the reasons with all this stuff, this trailer only weighs 3,100 pounds. Right over here, you're gonna have your black tank flush and your exterior power outlet. And then this rail that you see right here, that is for the optional Bush Kitchen, which is a Suburban Elite Series griddle and a prep table. And then right here is a cold water spray port for outside water. And then you have another propane quick connect down there as well, which is really nice. Um, and then right up here, lastly, you are going to have a uh, you're going to have a nice storage compartment. This is what I call a three quarters storage compartment but it is fairly deep and fairly wide now in the six and a half series of our pods and i say six and a half meaning the body size these do not have an enclosed heated underbelly so keep that in mind this is a good extended season or you know spring summer fall camper it's not some arctic camper uh, you really don't get into that until you get into some of the big the bigger r pods and even up into the surveyors so, all right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for the 2021 and a half Forest River R Pod Model 190. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you have any questions, or if you would like any pricing and event or availability, feel free to post any questions down in the comment section below. You can also give me a call at 806 335 2336, or you can send me an email at contact at custom rv.com. Again, guys, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button down below, and please consider subscribing. Uh, we just hit 500 subscribers, which is a really cool thing. I really want, by the end of this year, to be able to get to at least 750, but I would really like to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Um, and I appreciate everything, all, all of you that have subscribed, left, left comments, watched our videos, liked the videos. Um, we appreciate every single one of y'all. All right, guys, again, we thank you very much for taking the time to watch our videos. We hope that you enjoyed. Remember, at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave that up to the big dealers. And at Custom RV, we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. All right, guys, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you again very soon.